Hey Scorps, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. So I hope everyone is doing amazing. All right, Scorps. So we're going to talk about the month of July 2024. So we're going to see who's coming towards you for July 2024. Of course, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you guys have your notification bell on so you know when I go live, post readings, make posts to the community board, okay? Personal readings is always open. The link is down in my description. Keep in mind, this is a general collective reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? All right, cross watchers. If you are here watching for Scorpio, he can be a she, she can be a he. Reverse the roles as necessary. Do not make anything fit. That's for everyone, okay? All right, so let's find out who's coming towards you for the month of July. Spirit angels, guys, and divine ancestors, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July, 2024. Who is coming towards Scorpio? Who is coming towards Scorpio? July, 2024. Thank you. All right, so Seven of Cups flew out in the reverse, the overall energy. So whoever this is that's coming towards you, this is someone who has realized some things. This is someone who's not coming to you and, you know, telling you what you want to hear. This person doesn't have any options. Any other person is tagging along with them. This person could have recently went through some type of wake-up call, okay, where they took off the rose-colored glasses of life, people, places, and things, Okay. All right, what's the Seven of Cups in the reverse? Who's coming towards Scorpio for July 2024? Please return all dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitor, and spirits away from this reading. Return it all back to Cinder, tenfold, so more it be. <laughs> I say, I say, amen, amen. This is someone from your past, someone that you know. You have history with this person. It doesn't always have to be an ex. This can be a family member, friend that you haven't seen in a while. Someone from your past. Definitely could be a water sign. Maybe another Scorpio because Six of Cups. And Seven of Cups is like Scorpio. Mercury, Venus, Mars, things like that. Or Moon. Possibility. Okay. All right. So we have the Moon here. And we also have the Sun. Two major planets here. So... Whatever was kept in the dark is not going to come to the light with whoever this is. So if someone kept secrets away from you or didn't really tell you how they feel, at first, I feel like this person from your past may have had some insecurities or fear of approaching you, but now they're ready to approach you, okay? They've been kind of moving slowly to come towards you, but they are, okay? All right, Seven of Cups in the reverse, <clears throat> Who's coming towards Scorpio? Okay. So we have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Energy. Hmm. This could have been someone who's been manifesting some type of reconciliation or for you guys to come across each other's paths again. This could have been someone that you had a relationship with. You guys are no longer together anymore. Possibly a Gemini. Or someone with Gemini Virgo in their chart. But regardless of the signs, this is someone you possibly didn't get along with. Or things just wasn't aligning with you guys in the past. Okay. Hmm. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah, you're not in communication or you're not around this person anymore. Thank you. Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Hmm. This person has been thinking about you a lot. You've been on their mind a lot. Everything that may have occurred in your past life with this person, it's been on their mind. Yeah, tell me more. This person could have even been in jail or prison for some of you. All right, so Six of Cups. Who's coming towards Scorpio for July 2024? So yeah, this definitely could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I'm getting like a strong Gemini energy here with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone is coming towards you quickly, fastly. And of course, we just jumped out of Gemini season. Hmm. 
but you are familiar with this person maybe a younger person or someone who has a younger energy mm, they have something to say they want to talk it's almost like the first opportunity they get to come see you or talk to you they're going to do that I keep seeing this Jezebel spirit here at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Leo, masculine or feminine. Mm. Someone is coming from like a distance. You could have been married to this person before in a past life. Or had something serious with them before. This also with the uh, Ace of Cups and the, the Taurus energy with the Hierophant. This could be your ancestors or, you know, the universe just bringing you and this person back together. Mm. Wow. All right. So tell me about the magician. Who's coming towards Scorpio? So we know this is someone from your past. Family, friend, an ex-lover you haven't seen in a long time. It can be anyone, okay? But I'm getting a strong Gemini energy. What's the magician? All right, six of wands. Hmm. They're trying to use all their tools and resources to bring this relationship, friendship, whatever this is, back together. Hmm, they're hoping to get your attention again. So, Queen of Pentacles here. Hmm. A lot of you guys may have just been focusing on you, your job, your kids, you know, just being disciplined and humbled. You obviously walked away from this situation. It may have been a lot of tension between you and this person in the past. Hmm. But someone is ready to win your heart again or win your when the attention of you just being in their life again the number 66 may resonate hmm what's the magician who's coming towards scorpio for july 2024 and of course everyone like comment share and subscribe take what resonates leave what doesn't wow three of swords hmm yeah, something happened between you and this person. A breakup, separation, divorce, misunderstandings. Mm. Yeah, someone is hoping that they can win your heart again after they may have broke your heart in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, whoever this is, they definitely want to reach out to you, speak to you, and talk to you guys about reconciling this relationship or marriage that you may have had. They want to rekindle things, get back to good times. Yeah, whoever this is, it's a karmic energy, possibly. Mm. Yeah, things fell apart between you and this person in the past. Or some type of secrets may have been exposed. The foundation that you have with this, well, it's a karmic energy that's showing up. It didn't succeed. It's like things didn't work out. You feel like you were treated horribly. It was an unequal give and take between this person before. So they're hoping that you guys can start over, start fresh, maybe go out to dinner, maybe meet up somewhere for coffee, whatever it is, kind of reconcile the old times, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Someone from the past. Someone from the past. Hmm. All right, so let's break this down a little bit more. So what is the Eight of Swords? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Spirit, angels, and gods for July 2024. All right. Eight of Swords. Who's this person? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Okay, so we have the Devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy. Hmm. That's the TV y'all hear. It goes up and down for some reason. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, 
this person knows that they disappointed you. And so in so many ways, they understand why you had to move on with your life. They're in their feelings because of the fact that they know they've lost you, a lost an opportunity to be in your life. Yeah, they disrespected you or didn't show up for you before. It could be a water sign. But I feel like now with them coming back around, they're not toxic anymore. You know, not trying to be in control. This, some, some of you guys, this is someone who may have been in jail. Hmm. But regardless of the fact, this is someone who doesn't want to show you any type of toxicity. This person may have been relieved from their toxic ways or either so much time has passed by. They have worked on themselves. They took back their power. They're not in this like limiting belief of things. It's like they freed themselves. Almost like they're not the same person as they used to be. Wow. Wow. All right, what is the Knight of Swords? Who's this person that's coming towards Scorpio for July 2024? This could even be a person that um, is not drinking, smoking anymore, doing toxic things. So much time has passed by. Yeah, this person is coming towards you, Scorpio, King of Cups. Hmm. Also, while I'm, I'm hearing something about, they're thinking about how... They no longer have that hold on you. They can't just wrap you in their finger like that anymore. You broke free of them. Wow. Hmm. Queen of Swords, the Knight of Wands, Four of Cups. Hmm. I don't feel like you're going to be too fond of this individual. Even if they do come towards you with conversation, wanting to clear their name, you know, talk about the past, things like that. I feel like, you know, with the Queen of Swords, this is still your energy where you have grown, you have evolved, you set boundaries, your intuition is a little bit more on point. To an extent, I don't feel like you know for sure if you really want to accept this person back because of the past between you guys. You may end up rejecting them if they reach out to you, call you, even take action to come your way. Wow. You may still look at them as a liar, a cheater, someone who's argumentative, someone who is a playgirl, a playboy. And I feel like you're not going to be fond of them at first when they approach you with this offer. Because the way you see them is, you know, very manipulative, play games, childish with the five of swords. You don't know what you're getting with this individual. <clears throat> yeah it's like you know i already know the truth about what happened in the past it's like i'm not confused as to what happened between us before you know mm. all right what's the six of wands six of wands who's this person that's coming towards scorpio sun moon rising and venus tell those kids to be quiet Six of Wands. I know they don't know that I'm, I'm working right now. That's the Six of Wands. Oh, thank you. All right. So the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> hmm. So whoever this is, they're in like a Knight energy. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Regardless, this is someone who's... I don't feel like this person really has their life put together completely. But they're going to try to get your attention again. Hmm. They could be still working on, you know, their finances. Could be working a job that's not paying them as much, but they're doing the best they can. But I just, I feel like now that you're older, you're wiser, you're more intuitive, and you have your emotions a little bit more under control than possibly they do, more in your divine feminine energy or divine masculine energy, I just, some reason, I feel like you, to an extent, you may intimidate this person. 
So they're taking their time to approach you, to get your attention, to win you back, to say something. But they've been manifesting to hopefully get your attention, even though they know that in the past they broke your heart. There was, it wasn't a good ending between you and this person. Hmm. Yeah, they're, yeah, this person, they did a lot. Not only did they break your heart, they sabotaged, they backstabbed you. You went through a lot of dark times with this individual ever since, you know, you separated from them. Yeah. So now they're starting to realize, you know what, now is the time for me to stand up, speak up, and, you know, shed some light on the situation between us, apologize for my wrongdoings, come clean, be honest and truthful with the Seven of Swords in reverse. This person may even tell you that they're going through some, that's that's why I pick up financial, like they're going through hard times, they may not have a place to live, you know, they're barely getting by or they're getting help, assistance, whatever it is. They're going through some times right now, but I just feel like so with the Queen of Swords, you're still setting that boundary. Like, okay, listen, I'm not here to take care of you. You know, we had our bond, we had our situation. I just feel like you're not wanting to go back to the past with this person you're moving on and this person is in their feelings about it you know see they're trying to come back towards something that's already over with the lovers in reverse gemini energy knight of wands uh sagittarius they're trying to take action towards something that's no longer available yeah wow see they're coming out with page and knight energy that mm, that's not a good look for them if they're trying to get you back hmm. wow <clears throat> okay wow that's the only thing that hurts them is the fact that they they're not approaching you with very mature energy. All right, what's the Three of Swords? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three of Swords, who is coming towards Scorpio? July, 2024. Take what resonates, everyone. Leave what doesn't. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah. Six of Swords, you're... The pain, I feel like the pain that this person caused you, the grief, is too much. It's really too much to go back to and try to relive it again. So you're being guided to move on or you were guided before to just move away. Even though it hurts you to move on, you're, you left the rough parts of the situation, left the rough waters and going into more calmer energy, more calmer spirit. Yeah. It's almost like this is someone who's just going to have to deal with their karma, their consequences. Even if they are being honest and, you know what, I messed up. I'm sorry. You know, back then I was wild. You know, I didn't have my shit together. Mentally, I wasn't mature enough to handle it. But now I see the truth. You know. Because the thing is, they, they're wanting to fix what they have broken with you, but it may be too late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they are, they're wanting to speak to you and apologize for being hard hit, not listening, not being aligned with their higher self. But this is someone who is being and was being and currently is being haunted by everything that's happened in their past with you. They can't get it out of their head. This was a hard hit individual. And it seems like spirit was trying to tell them to surrender, have mercy you know, change their life, but someone is like now the guilt, the anxiety, the sadness is really getting the best of them currently and back then. They want to apologize for being selfish, egotistical, that caused the separation. This person is coming out as a karmic, yeah. Could be, like I said, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, don't have to be. But it's a masculine energy, male or female. Hmm. You may not see this coming that this person is going to try to approach you with a phone call, text message, DM. Mm. Wow. And yeah, they wanted to come in to 
make some type of effort but the reason why you're blocking them out or saying no i'm not interested is because of what happened the ten of swords yeah wow all right score this is what i have this is who's coming towards you it's someone that you're familiar with from your past that broke your heart, disappointed you. They have not been able to get you out of their head. What happened between you guys, now that so much time has went by, you know, they're not coming to you in a toxic way. But the thing I don't like about this is the fact that they're still in a night energy. So it's almost like, well, did you really grow up? Did you really learn how to communicate? Be honest a little bit more. Which the night of swords is them coming towards you? But they took so long to get your attention. And some of you guys, and I saw the Emperor and the Four of Wands, you may already be in another relationship or you're just in a whole nother situation where it doesn't even matter about this person anymore. So 666 is here. This could be a family member or someone you had a family with. And the, wow, the Magician is represented by the number six as well. Yeah. All right, gang, this is what I have. Peace, love, and light. Thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.